No BS intro, no long thematics. I'm going to show you a quick 30 minute morning routine that I personally use that anybody that wakes up before 6 a.m. can also utilize in their life. Now, what is one of the most successful monikers of a good morning routine? A good previous night's setup. So the first thing to a good morning routine is to make sure that you are set up for the morning so everything can go smoothly. Step one, make sure that you have all your clothing organized. As an example, personally, I have my workout clothing right over here. That's for workouts. And then I have all of my hangout clothes right here for when I'm just hanging out and going out. And then I have my towels all in one spot. I have my shirt, my work shirts, and my blazers and everything else I need for work right here in the middle. And then over here I have miscellaneous clothing. It's a neatly organized closet. And the only thing that I don't have in the closet are underwear and socks. I set my work pair of pants for my factory right here every single morning along with a belt. So that way I can put on my underwear, socks, pants, and then I just grab a shirt and go. Step two is that we need to actually get something in our belly. You're going to see a lot of morning routines that insist that fasting for the first few hours of the day is good, and that's true. However, it's true only if you are able to actually eat a proper meal later in the day, which for most of us that are stuck at work for eight hours, we're not willing to fast for eight hours until we get home, and it's already halfway through the day, right? So that's why I personally have a simplified eggnog breakfast. And this original recipe was from another YouTuber called Cal Ram. I'll link his video down in the description below for actually how to make it properly. Personally, what I do is instead of going half and half, I will add two cups of milk per one cup of heavy whipping cream. I find that it makes the consistency a little bit more thicker and a little bit more enjoyable. I'll also add some vanilla extract into the mix as well, just to give it a little bit more extra flavor. Now, the amount that I make is good for anywhere between three to four days, depending on how conservative you want to be with it. And it's good in the fridge for up to one week. And it's a really good, healthy, full breakfast that's full of saturated fats and protein and all kinds of other good nutrients that will keep you full through the workday just from the one single glass that you drink. Lastly, before you go, as always, you should be considerate of other people and put on some deodorant. It also wouldn't hurt to put on some body cream. And then you can feel free to go to work regardless of where you go. That's it. That's really it. Get clothes, get breakfast, smell good. That's all there is to it. Now, naturally, everyone's morning routine is going to be a little bit different. It varies from person to person. I find that this morning routine is best for me. It may not work out for you, but I also don't like the morning routines where you have to wake up, do 20 push-ups, 30 minutes of meditation. That shit is too long. Nobody actually has time for that. Everybody has time for 30 minutes out of the day to get up, get dressed, eat breakfast, smell good, and then go. That, all, that entire process takes 10 minutes. All right, and it's all easily completable should you get around to setting yourself up for it the previous night. That's what's most important. Set yourself up the previous night and you'll have a good next morning. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.